Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is Arthur E. Staff Gymnasium, home of the Brockton Boxers, and today it is their first home game of the season as the Red Raiders of Barnstable High School come to town to face the 1-0 Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and tonight I'm joined alongside by my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson Miles. Doesn't get much bigger than Brockton basketball on opening night here at Staff. Yeah, and it's a nice crowd out here to come see their boxes for the first time this year here at home, and um, hopefully the, we'll have something to cheer about. Well, the boxers 1-0 and oh, coming off a 21-point victory over St. John's of Shrewsbury. And they have a very, very big team led tonight by the 6-7 Junior, Eldon Terry. Yeah, Boxer's got a pretty big lineup out there on the floor early on. Terry coming down with the rebound. You can see his height coming into play early. This one now to number 23, Samuel Darius. And number 10 into the lineup for the first time in a few years is Jose Montero, Jr. You recognize that name because he's the starting quarterback of the Brockton High School football team playing at point guard here tonight. Yeah, he's an all-around athlete. Barnstable with it to number three, Michael Turner. And the three is blocked by Montero. And it bounces around down low. And out of play off of number 44, that is Colby Burke. Yeah, that was good defense out there by the boxers, rejecting at least two shots, possibly three on that possession by uh, Barnstable. Nice defense by the boxes. Montero to his tight end, Sonny Oak and Lola. Now over to Jalen Lee, one of the newcomers on this team, and Barnstable comes up with the loose ball. This is Turner bringing it up. Turner with a long floater, high off glass, no good. Terry with yet another rebound, his second. And we are early, this one intercepted by Turner now to Burke and intercepted by Montero who is hit wow. hard in the head and he's brought down. He'll be at the line for two shots. Yeah, he looked like he was smacked in the face. He's shaking it off. A little bit sloppy here in the last few possessions by both teams. So Miles, the interesting thing is I was talking with head coach Bob Bowen earlier and he said we're going to start five tonight and none of them started the game against St. John's. That's how confident he is in the lineup that he's got. Yeah, so that means practices. These kids have to take Bob Bowen's practices very seriously because uh, that's where he's going to decide who's going to start, along with um, whoever they're playing in the size matchup. So we are scoreless two minutes into the first quarter, as was the case here the other night for the girls' big win against Marshfield, and Barnstable draws first blood with a long two by Cole Houston. Sonny Oak and Lola rotating around to Jalen Lee. Lee to Montero. Montero back to Oak and Lola. Pump fake back to Lee. Lee trying to get it outside, and it's taken by Burke. All the way in, no good. Oak and Lola with the rebound all the way up back to Lee. Or rather, this is Darius to Montero, and Brockton's on the board. That was great defense by Okanola on the other end to um, get that first two points started for the boxes. They got it up very quickly. Joe Yalmokas working his way in, and he's going to be called for the travel. It was either going to be travel or charge. So Miles, scanning the roster very quickly. Montero Jr. at 6'3". Abu Kaba, one of the returning starters from last year, 6'4". Tejon Glenn Darty, 6'6". And then you've got 4'5 at the bottom of the roster. Jalen Lee, Isaiah Oreste, Eldon Terry, Yvonne Reed, and Sonny Okunlola all at 6'3". Terry is 6'7". Yeah, this is one of the taller teams Brockton's had in some time. Got the whole starting lineup over six feet right now. Houston for two, no good. Oak and Lola with another rebound. 
Bouncing it on to Lee, looking for Terry down low for the Lightning alley-oop. And Terry has a layup instead, and Brockton has a 4-2 lead. Yeah, Terry handled that ball very well underneath the basket. Great control. Kickball called against Sunny Oak and Lola. Eldon Terry, 6'7", Jr. Set him all the way down to the X. We'll do. Thank you. As is always the case, the opposing team thinks we're the check-in table. Well, we look quite important sitting here at the, at the Oh, when front someone of the sees Big Game Miles Jackson, <laughs> lines yeah. form for your autograph. Montero looking for Terry. Pass complete, Terry spinning with it, off the glass, no good. Terry with his own rebound, now high off glass, no good. And coming in to clean up the loose trash was Jalen Lee, and he puts it in. Yeah, nice job by Jalen to get involved in the play. Go right towards the basket to get the rebound and put it in easily. Okanola comes up with a steal. Off to Lee, high off glass, no good, and Terry slams it down. Good and Barnstable is going to call a timeout, now trailing 8-2 to two with 3.39 left in the first quarter. Yeah, nice defense by the boxes, a nice job by Terry to follow the play. He wasn't involved in the play at the very beginning, but came down court, followed the play, ended up with a nice little easy slam. You'll see it right here. Okamoto taking a second to pick that one up. Down low to Lee, high off glass, and Terry with the long strides appearing in the pain out of nowhere. And no Barnstable Red Raider wanted to get in the way of that one. No, nice job by Okanlola. The key to that play was Okanlola released. Once he got the ball, he looked right up court, released it very quickly, and the place developed right then and there. Easy two points for the boxers. And good defense by Okanlola. So eight to two, Brockton. Not a very high scoring game as of yet. Half, more than halfway through the first quarter. And a couple of rotation moves. Tejon Glendardi into the game. As well as Abu Kaba and Jerees Harris. Houston for two, it finds its way in. Montero to Jerees Harris. Harris with 19 points against St. John's. Now down low to Kaba. Kaba Finding some space, putting it up and in. Good work there by Abu Kaba. Yeah, excellent work. Underneath the board, used his strength and just flipped it up there. Harris able to keep it in to Glenn Darty, now off to Montero. And a travel call against Dries Harris. Brockton losing two big names from last year. Precious Oko, the sharpshooter from beyond the arc, off to uh, prep school, as well as Tyrone, the big 6'8 center. Head coach Bone saying he's not worried about them. If there was any year to lose them, this would be the year because they've got so many other names coming in and a lot of size, as you can see. Yeah, Coach Bowen gonna have a tough job early on in the season to get the right mesh, right chemistry, so see who he really wants to start for the most part, and then the ones who will come off the bench. But I'm sure he's gonna use most of his team during the season. He's just that type of coach. He's not afraid to use a lot of his bench. Long three, no good. Marcus Azor, one of the returning starters from last year into the game now. Glenn Darty takes a three, the big man, no good. Brought down by Marcino Louis Charles to Marcus Azor, and Glenn Darty on the windmill layup, and that's good. Yeah, Azor comes right in and gets a nice assist, assist to the big man, Darty. 12 to four, Brockton on top with two minutes to go in the first quarter. Come up, Bowen. This is Cole Houston. Houston all the way in, no good. Azor tapping. A loose ball. These are all the way in, and he's fouled. See, Marcus grew a couple of inches over the uh, off season. He 
inbounding foul against the Red Raiders. So Jerese Harris to do the honors. So Darty to Louis Charles to Azor. Back to Louis Charles. Back to Harris. Uh, it's Abu Kaba all the way in, and he's fouled. So he'll be at the line for two shots with 1.33 to go. Yeah, Abu Kaba not afraid to go into the red paint, drive to the basket. Very strong young man. And he's a senior, so they'll be looking for his leadership. Two at the line for Abu Kaba. 14 to four, Brockton up by 10, a minute 30 to go. Turner working his way inside, he's fouled, and will be at the stripe for a few free throws. Yeah, Barnstable doesn't have a very fast team, so that's gonna cause problems for them on defense as well as on offense. Turner good on his first attempt, 14 to five now. Number 35, Joey Elmokis, comes in to replace Colby Burke. And Turner is two of two. Azor to Harris to Kaba. Kaba pump fakes, works his way inside. Now takes a long two, no good. Glenn Darty with the rebound, and another one on top of that. Azor from the charity stripe, off the back of the rim, gets his own rebound. Perks of following your shot. And Abu Kaba puts up the fifth Brockton boxer offensive rebound of that possession. Yeah, Azo went in there, took the shot, got his rebound, and made a nice, clever pass right underneath to one of the big guys, put it in easily. Azo to Louis Charles, and it's going to be an offensive charge against Marcin to Louis Charles. Yeah, nice job by Will We see it. He had his position. Nice job by the Barnsville player, number three. Michael Turner for Barnstable. And Yvonne Reed fresh into the game. A 6'3 sophomore. Michael Turner. Short two for Barnstable is good. 16 to eight with 30 seconds to go. Azor two, no good. Abu Kaba in the right place at the right time, grabs the rebound and puts it up and in. Yeah, Abu Kaba likes hanging around the, the uh, backboard in the basket. This is number 10, Kyle Ruggieri. Over to Turner. Turner. One would think that was a travel. Well, I tell you, Turner did a nice job using his body. He used his shoulder very cleverly. It looks like he initiated the contact, but Azor was moving, so they're gonna call it on the defensive man all the time. An and one attempt for Michael Turner, and unsuccessful. Kaba with the rebound, 18 to 10, with two seconds. Reed puts it up, counted in one. As time expires. So Navon Reed, with a chance for a three-point play with no time on the clock. Yeah, that was a nice play by um, Reed. He put the shot up just in time as the buzzer sounded as the ball left his fingertips. No good for Reed. So at the end of the first quarter, 20 to 10, Brockton doubling up the Barnstable Red Raiders. Miles started off slow, but since those first couple of minutes, a very encouraging show put on by the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, very encouraging. Um, a lot of rebounding, a lot of good defensive blocks. Um, right now, um, Bonstable's no match for this um, for this Brockton Boxer team unless Brockton loses their, um, their focus. As long as they stay focused, they'll be all right because, hey, almost any team can come back on a team that loses their focus. So as long as Brockton definitely the better team as long as they stay focused they should be all right I'm going to attribute the slow start to opening night jitters there is a huge crowd here staff gymnasium for opening night here for the Brockton boxers it's one thing to to start the season on the road 
against a, a decent team at St. John's. You come home, it's a whole different ball game. Sure is. Turner for three, no good. Brockton with a lot of rebounds, Miles. A lot of rebounds, that's the key. They're controlling the boards right now. Kaba spinning with it out to Jerese Harris for three is no good. Azor getting into the fray and Barnsumo pulls down the rebound over Marcus Azor. Now Michael Turner. And Azor comes up with a steal. Azor to Harris. Harris back to Azor. It pops to Nivon Reed and he puts it off the glass and in. Yeah, nice team play there on the offensive end for the boxes. Azor with a nice steal. This is Yelmokis. Yelmokis down low off the glass and in. It's a nice little give and go by the Bonstable. Bonstable team. Reed thought about the three, ran out of room. Harris back to Reed. Back to Harris. Harris takes a long three, no good. Glenn Darty with yet another offensive board. And Reed trying to find some open space out to Harris. Now up to Azor at the top of the key. Back to Jerese Harris. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Glenn yes. Darty goes yes. up and slams it home. Yeah, and beautiful pass by Harris to the big man Darty. He took advantage and slammed it home, like you just said. Another steal brought away by Jerese Harris all the way in. And it's gonna be a block against number five of the Red Raiders, that is Davari Gray, and Harris will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, Harris took a tough tumble. Hopefully he can shake it off and uh, we'll see it here. Take a look at the dunk, a lot of space and Coach Bowen said that's gonna be something that we're gonna see a lot of this year that we haven't seen in years past. Because of the size of this roster, we're gonna see a lot more dunks and they're actually going to focus on getting it to the guys down low that can get over the rim. It would be to their advantage to work the ball in more this year than in, in any year in a long time because they have the um, ammunition to um, make plays inside the paint and around the rim. 26 to 12, Brockton on top. Tavari Gray working with it. And Abu Kaba comes up with a steal. Can he keep it in bounds? Yes, sliding down to the floor is Navon Reed. And number 44, Colby Burke comes away with it. Turner stopping and popping, no good. All the way up and another fresh boxer in as this one is out of play. That is Marquis Dos Santos, the shortest member of the Brockton Boxers. 5'10". Well, the second shortest member of the Brockton Boxers at 5'10". Jerese Harris at 5'9". Is the shortest boxer. Houston all the way in and it's up and good. 26-14 with 5.20 left in the second quarter. Glenn Darty down low, tried to slam it home but it bounced off the rim a few times. We'll count that as a layup. Yeah, I tell you the last time Barnstable was down at the other end of the court and scored there too. The guard had to go really high off the backboard to make that shot because of the defense of um, Brockton. Long two by Burke is good. On Reed to Glenn Darty. Glenn Darty looking for Kaba. Overshoots it a little bit. And Cole Houston comes down with the rebound. Houston off the glass and in. 28 18, 10 point edge for the boxers. Navon Reed all the way in, off the glass and in. Up and down the hardwood they go. Yeah, Navon Reed, he's only a sophomore, I believe. He's looking awfully good. Reed to number 11, that is Dos Santos. The Montero down low puts it, the rebound up and in 32 to 18. 
Miles, the rotation we've seen from the Brockton boxers, the number of boxers we've seen involved in the action, I don't think we've seen as many contributors for Brockton. It's been at least half a decade that we've seen so many people able to contribute to the Brockton boxers. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Mad Dog. And, and what I've noticed, even on the on the fast breaks and if the boxers don't make the layup, they've got personnel that comes right behind and cleans up right behind that at first initial shot and gets an easy two. So it's uh, right now it's uh, pretty enjoyable watching this boxer team and this is only the first, first home game of the season. And, and they're still trying to work out and get a feel for each other. That's the scary part. Exactly. It is 35 to 18, Brockton on top of Barnstable, 340 left in the second quarter. And opening night here for the Brockton men's soccer team. Almost every boxer has points tonight. Scanning the roster, I only see two names that have not scored yet tonight. And if they haven't scored, they might have done something defensive-wise as a steal or gotten in and got, got numerous rebounds. Everybody seems to be contributing so far in this football, um, basketball game. But every person on this roster has seen time tonight. And this is the first half. Junior Montero all the way in and the one-handed slam. Jose Montero Jr. with the explanation point. 37 to 18, 320 left in the second quarter. Oak and Lola committing a foul on the rebound. Rather, they're going to call it against Barnstable number 15, Trevor Blaze. Yeah, Trevor uh, pushed off on uh, Oak and Lola. Montero Jr. off to Navon Reed. Reed over to Dos Santos. Dos Santos to Montero down to Eldon Terry. And Barnstable knocked it out of play. Montero Jr. off the inbound pass. Back to Marquis Dos Santos. Oak and Lola down low, spinning it off the rim. No good, gets his own rebound, no good. Eldon Terry comes down with it. Are they gonna count the bucket? That's the question. Yes, Eldon Terry with the three-point opportunity. And that puts Brocken in a one-in-one -one situation as there are seven team fouls against the Red Raiders. I tell you, here's a replay, just total domination on the boards by the boxers. Terry said, give me that ball, reached out with one arm, swatted it away from the Red Raider on the floor. And some more substitutions for the boxers, numbers 23, Samuel Darius, and Jalen Lee, both into the game. Darius, a six footer. One of the two remaining boxers without points tonight. Boxers got hip to that play. Bonsville pulled it, pulled it off earlier and scored easy two, but not that time. The uh, boxers were ready. Brockton pressuring the inbounds pass. And now this is Turner over to Ruggieri. His three is good. 40 to 21 the score, 220 left. Oak and Lola, the big man, takes a three, and that's good. Ooh, Oak and Lola wants, Oak and Ola wants to get involved in the threes. Not, not a bad uh, form for a big man. Shoot that three. Oak and Lola, the junior, 6'3", he's listed as a guard dash forward.
Houston over to Ruggieri. Ruggieri working against Okinola, now out, attempted for Blaze, knocked out by Lee, and Azor will come back into the game. He will Cole, replace Cole, Jose Montero Jr., and there's two seconds on the shot clock for Barnstable to shoot it off the inbound. Their three is blocked by number 23, Darius. You know, I, I can see why they would put guard slash forward for uh, Okendola. He has a lot of flexibility for a big man. And um, he loves to play defense. Very physical. Chain lead to Azor. Azor spinning with it, finding some open space down low off the glass and in. Whoa, nice spin move by Azar. Totally fooled his defender. Made it an easy play. That's the problem with having five guys or four guys on the floor that are over six foot three. Is th the other team is going to tend Okanola for three, no good in and out. But the other team's going to tend to double team one of the, s the big guys. Azor is going to have some open space because he's only six feet, only six feet. <laughs> he's going to find some open space, and he's not going to mistake when you give him the ball down low and he's got some space to work with. Exactly. Another steal by the Brockton Boxers, Jalen Lee to Darius. Darius back to Lee. Lee with a little flip pass to Oak and Lola up and in. I mean, that play got a little out of control and the boxer still was able to capitalize and get two points out of it. 47 to 21, Brockton on top big with now 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Michael Turner with it. To Cole Houston, Houston's overhead pass intercepted by Darius, Darius a long floater and he's on the board, count it and one for Samuel Darius. There hasn't been too many times in this second quarter that the boxers have come down on offense and, have, and, hasn't, and haven't scored. They've scored just about every time they've come down on offense in this second quarter. And that just leaves Isaiah Oresti as the lone boxer without points tonight. Terry triple teamed as Barnstable and Cole Houston come away with the rebound. A shot with six seconds left is no good. And Barnstable able to ring it around and in as time expires. Miles 49 to 23, the score at halftime. Brockton on top, they are up big. It's just turning into unfair for the boxers. Yeah, um, well, boxers better enjoy it while they can because as the season goes on, it's gonna get a lot tougher. But it, it, this is a good sign. First game, first home game of the season, their second game of the season. And um, they, like I said before, they really are still trying to get a feel for each other and their chemistry. And it's, uh, it's gonna be kind of scary as we get into the season in January. 49 to 23, the Brockton Boxers leading the Barnstable Red Raiders at the half. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French only rule at home or C, watch some foreign films. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers, but that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. At work or at play, you're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Oh, hey, she's cute. Nice going, man. Things are going great for you. You've earned a night out. Good drinks, good friends. Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and call this a good night. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh, not smart. Yeah, I saw that coming. Say goodbye to her. 
Ouch, that'll hurt your bank account. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. I hope you like eating frozen dinners alone. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French-only rule at home. Or C, watch some foreign films. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers. But that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. So, I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No? Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Barnstable Red Raiders and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, 49 to 23, Brockton dominating in every phase of the game yeah, over the Red Raiders. Exactly, and, and when you dominate like that, that means you're dominating the boys on offense as well as defense. You're getting second attempt, third attempts on your offense. Just complete domination on the boards. And this is what you have, a 49-23 um, dominated game here by the boxers. The leaders for the boxers, Navon Reed, the freshman, with nine points to lead all boxers. Just behind him is Abu Kaba with eight. Yeah, that's pretty scary around Reed. He's only a freshman, and he's 6'3", uh, so he's still growing. That's the scary part. Yes. Jose Montero Jr., the senior, out to Jarius Lee, or Jalen Lee, excuse me. Lee's three, no good, brought down by Cole Houston. Houston with three fouls against him, two more, and he will be sitting for the remainder of the night. Oaken Lola with yet another board. So Lee pump fakes, now he takes a three and it's good. Yeah, you know he can make that shot. Missed the first time here in the second half, but he came right back down, hit it. Travel called against Houston. There are still two boxers that don't have points tonight. One is Isaiah Oresti, and the other is Marquise Dos Santos. Terry hands off to wow. 
Samuel Darius, and that one's good. Nice uh, ball handling skills by the big man. 54 to 23, Brockton up by 31. Darius taken down hard, immediately grabs for his hip. Wow, he went down hard. They got this on replay. Ooh. Taken down hard across his shoulder by, that's Michael Turner. See now that that's youth getting up like that. If I tried that, they'd be taking <laughs> somebody call an ambulance. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have ambulances. <laughs> 55 to 23. And Darius is two at two at the line. 56 to 23, Brockton is up by 33 points. Houston working his way in, his no look pass in a block by Eldon Terry, and there's another one. Two blocks for Eldon Terry, and his football Hail Mary pass is no good for Darius, but Lola getting the rebound. Now Terry with the loose ball, and a foul is called. Here we see on a replay the defensive skills of the boxes. Rejection. Rejection. Great defense by the boxes. Eldon Terry with two consecutive blocks. Cole Houston working his way in to Burke. No good. Terry with the rebound. No Red Raider even goes up to attempt it against the 6 7 big man. And a travel called against Darius. Yeah, he took just a little bit too much on a step there. Nice move to the basket, just a little bit too much of a step. This is Michael Turner with it. Turner out to Blaze, his two is good. Jose Montero Jr., you can see the brace on his left knee, that's the ACL that he tore twice. Hold calls against Colby Burke. Jerese Harris will come in to replace Samuel Darius. Help Sam, help Sam. Hoken Lola down low, getting the loose ball, and his floater is good. 58 to 25. Wow. And this one is officially out of hand. <laughs> and now a backcourt violation. Yeah. And, uh, Michael Turner knows it. And he's a senior, he should know better. Burke and Turner come out in favor of number 10, Kyle Ruggieri and Trevor Blaze. Lee for a long two is good. Not even halfway through the third quarter, the boxers up 60 to 25. Make that 27 as Cole Houston hits a two. Harris tripping over the ref. And Houston the other way. And a block called against Jose Montero Jr. as Cole Houston was charging in. Marcelo Louis Charles, Tejon Glenn Darty, and Abu Kaba into the game. They replace Jalen Lee. <coughs> Eldon Terry and Sonny Oak and Lola. You say those are the early big three in this season right there. Coming out for the boxes. It's Jerese Harris for three and it's good. And he likes to hit that shot, he shot it Shot that shot last year in, in the first game of the season away. 
he hit that shot. Montero got a hand on it, but it found its way to the bottom of the net. 63-29, four minutes to go in the third quarter. Montero Jr. for three, no good. With the rebound going to Kyle Ruggieri. Houston to Ruggieri. 15 on the shot clock. Ruggieri nowhere to go with it. And a foul called against the boxers. Glenn Darty called for the hold. Azor comes in to replace Jose Montero Jr. Houston pump fakes. I don't think he was gonna take that shot five feet beyond the three point arc. Now inside to Blaze, his two no good. Offensive board for Ruggieri off to Houston. Houston to number 21, that is Sam Rosen. Houston takes the three and it's good. <coughs> nice job by Barnstable, moved the ball around, finally found an open shot. And um, the guard took advantage of it, Houston. 63-32 the score, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Rocking up by 31 points now. Jerry's Harris inbound. Off to Azor. Azor to Louis Charles. Charles off to Harris. Harris inside, off the glass and in. Ooh, nice job by Harris, working his wiggling his way inside for the easy two. Cole Houston in for Trevor Blaze. Blaze gives it away to Glenn Darty. Darty up for Harris. Harris has to slow up. Yeah, smart job by Harris. Kaba back to Harris. 224 left. Louis Charles takes a two from the line. No good. Glenn Darty down low, and he just reaching above the rim. Didn't even dunk it reached above the rim and dropped it. Yeah, that was a nice assist by Abba, Abu Kaba to Darty. <laughs> Kaba all the way in, I believe this will be an and one for Abu Kaba. It is Abu Kaba, senior. Senior Abu Kaba is at the line for a three-point play attempt. 69 to 32. Brockton is up big. And Cole Houston is going to come out in favor of Michael Turner. That is the fourth personal foul against Cole Houston. And Kaba is good. And Navon Reed is back into the game. Yeah, Abu Kaba, that's a catchy name. Just like uh, Channel 7, they have a news commentator. <clears throat> Amaka Ubaka. Love the name. Love the name. This is going to turn into this season. Looking ahead. The season is going to turn into, can anybody match the height of the boxers? And you know there's always somebody out there that's gonna match the height of, of um, the, the other team. There's always somebody out there. This year's BC High matchup could be very competitive. Of course, always looking forward to Brighton Head coach Hugh Coleman comes to town. Always a fun game with Brighton. January 16th for that one. A packed staff. Team. I can already see it now. Packed. Harris for three, no good. Glenn Darty tipping the rebound, but the Red Raiders come up with it. Turner for two off the glass and in.
Cabo to Louis Charles to Reed. Reed working his way inside, no good. As he got it stripped away, Glenn Darty picks up the loose trash. Yeah. Louis Charles to Harris. Harris from way downtown is no good. And Kaba is fouled on the putback attempt. He'll be at the line for two shots. Yeah, it's nice to see the boxers uh, here late in the third quarter still hustling for that basketball. Darty did a nice job hustling for that loose ball to keep that offensive uh, play going. Kaba good on his first attempt. 71-34, the boxers are on top. Perfect at the stripe is Abu Kaba. Michael Turner working against Jerese Harris. Finding some space now, sending it outside to Rosen, back to Turner. Inside for Blaze, back to Turner. Turner to Burke. Burke fouled by a handful of boxers. Abu Kaba called for the hit. But I tell you, the boxers are making the Bonstable Red Raiders work for their shots. You'll see it right here. Number 44 is really working hard for yeah, that shot. I think shot. they got the wrong note. I think they wanted to call that on Navon Reed. Yeah. But um, Bonstable's really working hard for each shot that they have taken here in this basketball game with uh, Brockton's tenacious defense. Got to give a shout out. Shout out to Colby Burke, number 44 of the Red Raiders. Not many people can rock a mullet these days and pull it off. Rock a what? A mullet. The hairstyle? The hairstyle. You know, I was checking that hairstyle out. That's, is that an 80s look? Late 70s, Late early 80s. 80s, yeah. I think we're, we're being told that Paul Mandeville used to rock a mullet yeah, well, back in the day. Paul Mandeville was a rocker. <laughs> well, I heard Paul was a real rocker back in the day. The buzzer sounds the third quarter has come to an end. 72 to 35, the boxers are up by 37 points. And Miles is not much to say about this one. Pure domination by the boxers. Yeah, see, the scary part about the boxes, they have a bench that you, you really miss a beat when the starters come out. I don't even know if we can call it a bench. Exactly. We got starters A and starters B. Exactly. That's how good this overall this team is. Bowen has a lot of, um, a lot of um, choices, positive choices that he can make any time during the game. Well, as is tradition, we want to thank the cast and crew for bringing you the sights and sounds of tonight's festivities. At the helm, our fearless leader, the rock star himself. There you go. Paul Mandeville. What more do we need to say? That's it. Yeah. That's it. This game does not <laughs> happen if Paul Mandeville is not in attendance. Exactly, and they're doing a great job down there in the uh, booth. Next to him, bringing you the replay graphics and watching our audio. Mike the Postman Simmons, yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. You know, and Mike's a quiet guy, but he lets his work do his talking. On camera, I'm gonna call them the Yeoman team. Rob Curry, Kanye Vioyo, Katya Andrade, phenomenal work, all facets of the game. This is Darius for three, no good. Glenn Darty oh. downloaded Dos Santos, oh. and he tried to dunk it. He's only 5'10", he went for the dunk, and he missed. Well, I hope he learned something from that play right there. Nice um, job by Darty to find the open man right underneath. He hustled for the basketball. He's done a great job today, Darty, going after that basketball. Of course, you are listening to the sultry sounds of big game Miles Jackson as Kaba walks in and lays it up and in. And another nice assist by uh, Doherty, Glenn Doherty. 
You're listening to the sultry sounds of Big Game Miles Jackson and myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Yvonne Reed with another rebound. Downloaded Dos Santos. Dos Santos to Kaba off the glass. Counted in one for Abu Kaba. This boxer team running on all cylinders this evening. You see here on the replay. Nice job by uh, Abu Kaba using his body to protect that basketball and put it up there off the glass. Houston for a long two, no good. Kaba with the rebound. Kaba turning on the Jets. Down to De Glenn Doherty off the glass. And then originally went for the dunk, adjusted mid-air. Layup is good. Yeah, you're exactly right, Mad Dog. He did a nice job adjusting that in that split second. He saw it wasn't wise to go for a dunk, put the easy layup in. Red R back would have been proud of him. I'm gonna call this the jumbo set. We got Sonny Oak and Lola, Eldon Terry, and Jalen Lee all coming into the game. All two six threes and a six seven. The high school version of the big three. Barnstable calling a timeout with 6.02 to go in the fourth quarter. It is 78 to 35 miles. This is normally a point where I'd say send in some of the reserves, get them some game experience, but there's no real reserves. No, they've been, those guys on the bench have been getting a lot of playing time out here this evening. Everybody's been out here and producing. And, and I'm sure that's what Coach Bowen is emphasizing to these guys. Look, we're a talented team. Doesn't matter when you, if you're sitting on a bench or you're out there on the court. When you get your chance to go out there, give your best. And we'll be down the winning, winning road as long as everybody plays unselfishly. Um, that they, they can make something happen this year here at um, Brockton High. Both teams spending a decent amount of time on the road next week, but next Friday night is the next game for Brockton Community Access as the girls team takes on the Barnstable Red Raiders right here at Staff Gymnasium. Seven o'clock tip off for that one. Sunday, the boys play at Marshfield. And what should be a heavyweight tilt 15 round title fight. Houston from the top of the key, no good. Dos Santos with a rebound to Jalen Lee. Lee trying to force it down to Terry. Terry keeping it inbounds, but it finds the awaiting arms of number five, Davari Gray. Now Sherwayne Sharp turns it over. Oak and Lola all the way in, lays it up. No good, but he is fouled, a block committed by Gray. You'll see here on the replay, Okandola has the skills to go in. I didn't see a lot of contact, but. Good on his first attempt is Sonny Okandola. 79-35. Make it 80. A 45 point edge for the boxers with 523 to go in regulation. This one finding Kristen down at the other end of the scorer's table. Tease, five minutes left in this game. It's nice to see the boxers still going. Tenacious defense on these Barnstable Red Raiders. Be interesting to see if they start to hold up a little bit on the offensive end. You tr maybe try to run out a little bit of the clock. Reed called for the hit. Barnstable is going to send in some of their reserves, get them some game experience. A 
A one and one shooting situation for the Red Raiders. Sherwin Sharp, the senior at the line. Got on his first attempt, earning a second. 80 to 36 now the score. No good, Oak and Lola with the rebound. All the way up for Dos Santos is intercepted by Cole Houston, but carried out of play. Sharp will come out of the game. Dos Santos still looking for some points. Oak and Lola over to Reed. Back to Oak and Lola, back to Reed. Now to Jalen Lee. Lee floating one, no good. Eldon Terry coming up with it. His shot, no good. Rebound loose in the paint. Lee comes up with it, puts up a shot, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Another great offensive boards there. Three chances, they finally get it in. Houston good for two on the other end. Azor is going to come back into the game as Oak and Lola lays one up. Terry missing the dunk. Now three for Dos Santos, no good. Terry has it again off the glass. Counted in one for Eldon Terry. Eldon Terry is a force underneath the basket. Eldon Terry, only a junior. Grew a couple of inches in the off season. Worked on his game. No good on his free throw attempt. 84 to 38 to score. Brockton is gonna move to two and zero on the year. Suppose barring few big miracles and perhaps the third coming of Jesus. <laughs> you never know this time of year though. Never know. Into the game for the first time is Isaiah Oresti, 6'3", junior forward. Knocked out of play by Jalen Lee. Houston working with it now. So Miles, let's rewind to the beginning of the first quarter where Brockton went two and a half minutes as Houston has a deep three, no good. Rebound to Navon Reed. What do you attribute the slow start to? First home game, little butterflies in his stomach. All they had to do was play a little bit, get comfortable, break out a sweat, and they're on their way. Well, since then, it has been Brockton, Brockton, Brockton. Navon Reed leading that effort. Nine points in the first half. Azor driving baseline is fouled and will be at the line for two shots. Two forty-three to go in the fourth quarter. So, Miles, what do you work on in practice? Well, you work on getting familiar with each other. Just keep playing together as a team, and um, everything else should fall in place. When you win, everybody's happy, good attitude, good spirit. So they should build off of all of that. And you got the good coach to add in on that, and um, hopefully. Brockton's gonna have one of them years. 85 to 38 the score, Brockton on top. Two and a half to go. 
Ruggieri over to Turner. Download a blaze, no good. Rebound to number 11. You'd think he, he just scored the tying basket. But just as Joe's just just goes to show you Brockton's tenacious defense on this Barnesville team. They haven't had a lot to cheer about this tonight. A lot of rejections, but good hustle right there by number 11, Marcus Dos Santos. Makes the three point play. 85 to 41 now, Brockton on top. Again, this is uh, Navon Reed, freshman. Now 87 for Brockton, as Reed with a chance for a three-point opportunity. Yeah. The coach saying it all, we score three, we give up three immediately. Head coach Mike Kennedy of the Red Raiders. 2.06 to go, and Brockton is up 88 to 41. Just think if Brockton started off a little bit better, they would be in the triple digits right now. Azor to Reed. Reed thought about the three, realized how much time is left, and instead opts to pass it around the key. Yeah, nice smart play by the freshman. Azor working his way in, high off glass, no good. Burke with the rebound for the Red Raiders with a minute 30 to go. Wow, nice spin on the ball when he went to the basket. I don't, think he Turner. Used, I don't think he used the uh, backboard on that one. Azor to Louis Charles to Reed. Reed to Louis Charles to Azor. Back to Reed. 10 seconds on the shot clock, 106 left in the game. Now Dos Santos down low, picks up his own loose ball. Louis Charles for two and it's good. Nice uh, use of the clock right there to kill some time. 50 seconds left, 90 to 43. Brockton is up by more than double. Ruggieri calling for the pick, doesn't get a clean one. Houston from the charity stripe is no good. Burke fighting for the rebound, fresh sock clock, about a half second difference between shot clock and game clock as Oresti comes down with it. Now Azor with no shot clock, throws it into the Brockton bench. And Barnstable will take over on downs. You think? The ball goes out of bounds. You just let the last 11.8 seconds run off. All the way across to Burke. In for a Turner. Turner off the glass, no good. Out of play off of Barnstable with 3.2 left. The crowd heads for the exits. Chalk this one up as a big win here on opening night for the boxers. Yeah, I'm Azor. sure, I'm, I'm sure uh, after the crowd, a good crowd tonight, opening night, saw this Brock the basketball team, we're going to get out, need to come and see these guys because they look like they're going to be something special this year. 90 to 43, your final score. The Boxer is getting a win here at Staff Gymnasium in their first attempt on the season. 2-0 on the year, defeating St. John's game one, Barnstable game two, Miles. 2-0 on the year. This team looks like something special. Yeah, I, I'm very impressed with their tenacious defense. I'm very impressed with their with their offensive um, boards. Went hard. They must have had Coach, th uh, seven, eight times an when they had three chances to uh, get Coach rebounds. So um, just just a great effort by this um, boxer team. Just really just getting familiar with each other. Well, Miles. We saw some scary things tonight. Three dunks in the first half. We'll leave those alone. The sheer height and talent of these guys. 
See, and, and that's what's going to happen as they go through the season. They're going to be intimidating a lot of teams. They, they were, Barnstable was intimidated. A lot of shots were intimidation type shots, offensive shots where they missed the, um, missed the shot because of Brockton's um, height. Well, Miles, we saw all phases. Good inside the paint, good from a long two distance, good from beyond the arc. Best part of the game, the, the game changer rebounds. Yeah, rebounding, defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds. Bounceable most of the time only got one shot yes. when they came down with the, and if they didn't make the shot, they, they, they wouldn't get the rebound and Brockton would come back down and most likely score, score the basket. So it was totally a mismatch tonight for the Brockton boxes. Miles, going into next week, you've got Barnstable again, but before that, you've got a very strong Marshfield Rams, both on the road. You've got four days off in between. If you're the boxers, what's the strategy going into those two road games? Well, against Marshfield, they're a good team. You gotta play smart. And you can't get frustrated right off if you, you're a little cold at the beginning. Marshfield might be a little warm. But you can't get frustrated. The game will come to you as long as you do what the coach says and play good defense. Well, 90 to 43, your final score. Brockton getting a 47 point victory over the Barnstable Red Raiders here at Staff Gymnasium. The replays will tell you the whole story. Dunks, offense, defense, and a complete effort by the Brockton Boxers. 90 to 43, your final score for everyone here at Brockton Community Access. My broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.